Hi, I'm Myrtle, the sea turtle. I'm one of the longest living creatures on Earth, and my species has been laying eggs on this beach for over 150 million years. As I hatch out of my shell, I can't help but wonder if sea life will even be around in another 150 years. I am the most endangered sea turtle around, the Kemp Ridley sea turtle. We have started to make a comeback in recent years, but due to sea debris, me and other forms of sea life all face the threat of extinction. Look around and see the top 10 trash items left on the beach. Notice how most pieces of trash are just used once and then tossed away. These single-use items travel near and far to wreak havoc on this beautiful beach that me and my family call home. What takes just seconds to use for you humans last lifetimes in my ocean. Human experts say that there are over 5.3 trillion pieces of trash floating in the ocean as we speak. Some will still be here long after I and maybe my entire species are gone. Welcome to my home. See what I have to swim with each day? When I'm not dodging the billions of pieces of trash, I often mistake things like plastic bags for food because it looks like a jellyfish. I've seen too many of my sea buddies struggle and even die after being caught up in this pollution. Now, look around again and see how long it takes each piece of trash to decompose in my ocean. It's a sad reality, but too many of sea animals lose their lives to the products humans take for granted every day. It is important to remember not every piece of litter that makes its way to the ocean will live there forever. For example, while cigarette butts take about five years to decompose, paper bags only need two months to do the same. Plastic and glass products on the other fin take ages to biodegrade. Did you know nearly every piece of plastic ever made is still on Earth and hasn't decayed? With most of the polluted items taking 100 to 4,000 years to decompose, some Earthlings predict there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by the year 2050. Hey, plastic straw man, that really sucks. Me? The real suckers are the millions of people who use me every day. Did you know Americans slurp over 500 million straws daily? That's enough to circle the earth two and a half times each day. Millions of my drastic plastic straw mates find their way into this ocean. If I only had a brain, I would stop being made of plastic and be created of paper or multi-use material like steel. Well, that's the last straw. I'm so tired of me and my seamates mistaking you for food. Hey, water bottle boy. Do you have a message for our human friends? Feel free to tap in. Tap? Tap is right. Why don't humans want to use tap water instead of buying bottled water? Around the world, humans are buying one million plastic bottles per minute. That's epic! Plus, 18 billion pounds of me and my plastic buddies end up in the ocean each year, and over a million birds die from eating plastic. Bottles are for babies. It has been reported that the Coca-Cola company produces over 128 billion bottles each year. Humans should really start using tap for all their sodas, beer, and water. Stop using single-use plastic bottles and fill up those reusable steel-like cups. Right, plastic bag lady? I'm tired of being trash talked about. I'm given a bad name for being single-use Single use? Really? In my short lifetime, I've carried packaged food home. I've clogged a storm drain that flooded a whole city block, and then I was carried away by the wind all the way to this here ocean where I accidentally killed two sea turtles and a bird. Why, me and my many toxic-based substances will never go away. We'll only break down to fine particles and become a part of your beloved food chain. Single use? More like endless use. Or endless abuse. <coughs> Let me butt in here for a second. I smoke all of you out as the most trashed item in the sea. <coughs> Several recent ocean cleanups list me as number one most disposed item found on the beach and ocean. Take that, diaper baby. Wah, wah, wah. Well, crap. That stinks. I don't like being number one or number two on any list. And I'm sure I've seen more butts than you. I am single-handedly soiling the ocean. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough trash talk. The real sea controversy is that the plastic harms more than 600 sea species 
Everything from microorganisms to whales are affected by plastic waste in the oceans. They eat it, they get tangled in it, and all too often die. Over half of the 5.3 trillion pieces of rubbish afloat on the ocean are caught up in several ocean garbage patches across the globe. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a floating island of trash halfway between Hawaii and California and is twice the size of Texas. This debris is caught up in the currents and was dumped in the ocean by humans or stirred up by tsunamis and hurricanes. Hey Myrtle, I know the cleanup will be slow as a turtle, but our plan of action is to stop using single-use plastic items. We have been talking to manufacturers and fast food restaurants about alternatives. Just look at these articles and headlines. Scientists are finding new ways to tackle the problem. Cleaning up and new faster options of decomposition of plastics, like the wax worms and mealworms, are breaking down plastics in a matter of days instead of years. Look around and see what others are already doing. In July 2018, Seattle became the first U.S. city to ban plastic straws and utensils. In April of 2018, the United Kingdom announced a plan to ban the sale of plastic straws, drink stirrers, and plastic stemmed cotton buds. Prime Minister Theresa May called plastic waste one of the greatest environmental challenges facing the world. Plus, India has vowed to ban all single-use plastics in four years' time. Kenya has joined other countries in banning plastic bags and imposing steep fines and jail time. Companies are finally coming out of their shells and helping in the global crisis. Furniture giant IKEA has said it would do away with plastics by 2020 while McDonald's announced it would test alternatives to plastic straws at certain locations very soon. The tide is really turning now that Coca-Cola announced a goal to collect and recycle the equivalent of 100% of its packaging by 2030. Together, we can turn the tide and tackle this ocean plastic. Thanks, humans. It sounds like your scientists are working very hard. And it is certainly a great first step, but every human should deplastify their life and start using reusable bags, buy items in bulk, and just say no to producers of plastic items. Please help us get the word out. Go online and make a difference. Join an anti-plastic revolution. Help make my home more sustainable for sea life to thrive for the next 150 million years. There are several organizations who need your help. Just say no to plastic. Say no to single-use items. Plastic is washed up.